Our team works on the molecular mechanisms ensuring genome stability and transmission through cellular divisions and reproduction. We work in different contexts depending on the specific questions being asked and now members of the team will present their work. Meiosis, which is the specialized cell division essential to form gametes, represents a fascinating example of the plasticity of DNA repair system. A particularity of meiotic cells is that they intentionally break the genome with hundreds of breaks. The following repair of these breaks is precisely regulated to establish physical link between parental chromosomes. These physical links have two essential functions. First, they promote accurate segregation of parental chromosomes, and this is essential for fertility, and they create genetic diversity by allowing exchange of genetic material between parental chromosomes. But what happens when more than one genomes are present in the same cell? This is the case of many wild and cultivated plants of major agronomic interest, such as wheat, cotton and canola. These plants originate from a cross between different species and are called polyploids. Having an excess of chromosomes complicates the sorting of chromosomes during meiosis. We aim at deciphering how all these chromosomes recombine together and accurately segregate within sexual cells. And this process is absolutely key for plant fertility. To study the genetic and epigenetic factors involved in the recombination, we use CRISPR-Cas to break chromosomes at any chosen genomic site and third-generation Oxford nanopore DNA sequencing to analyze their repair. Repair of chromosome breaks is often accompanied by new DNA synthesis. We have used this fact as the basis for a new molecular technique to analyze homologous recombination mechanisms. As it can be seen in this image, showing new DNA synthesis tracts labeled in red at DNA break sites in meiotic chromosomes of Arabidopsis. As a single-cell eukaryotic organism, the yeast Saccharomyces cerevisiae is a powerful genetic model to study eukaryotic cell biology. We can quite easily create mutations in the genome and then study their effects on various cellular processes. We are interested in studying proteins that protect the extremity of chromosomes, the telomeres particularly the CST protein complex, which exists not only in yeast, but also in higher eukaryotes. Although we work on fundamental models, the mechanisms we study are of great importance for cancer diagnosis and therapy, since for cancer cells, progression through cell cycles while maintaining a stable genome is a challenge. If you're interested in working on genome stability with us, please get in touch.